Hello. <clears throat> My name is Shannon Kringen. You're watching Goddess Kring, and it's almost 2014. Today is December 31st, 2013, the last day. So almost Happy New Year 2014. This is a, a book I made, a calendar book that I made with photos of mine. Um, and I wanted to share something about insights I've had about myself and my life purpose and um, I strongly urge you if you're into astrology at all to look at I like astrology because it's it's like math it's like mathematical patterns of the universe and the microcosm and the macrocosm of individuals and the planets and the whole basically the whole universe and so I think that Math and music are related, and I'm very musical, and I like math, and, I li and I'm an artist. So I'm an artist who likes math, unusual. But I will say that I have a line in my poems that goes, Fragile sense of self, intangible desire for wealth. And um, this ties in with fragile sense of self, intangible desire for wealth. So this ties in with the fact that I take so many pictures of myself. This is all pictures, self-portraits that I've done where I look re really, really different in each photo. And uh, I even made a book called Art, Identity, and the Sacred. And there's photos I've taken, a lot of self-portraits, but also of animals, portraits of animals, and portraits of um, urban decay. And I'm a really good photographer, but I will say something about my self-portraitness, my, my kind of obsession with doing self-portraits, is um, fragile sense of self and tangible desire for wealth. So I was going to say, I was going to make a point. I would say if you're into astrology at all and you want to know more about your life purpose, your overall drive and purpose in this lifetime, find out what your north and south node are because I found out that mine, I was born October 25th, 1968 and I have north node in Aries and which means that I'm supposed to have the courage in this lifetime to step into being more like an Aries, which is somebody who's very empowered in themselves. They're a leader. They're an entrepreneur. They're a visionary thinker. They're somebody who doesn't need the doesn't need permission from others. Not a follower, a leader. Somebody who has their own unique ideas and wants to put them out there in the world, and allow be strong enough and allow people to criticize it. You know, to like it or not like it, or be neutral about it but still have the courage to put your stuff out there and tame the shame. So, um, which is another part of one of my poems. So, all my favorite people in the world seem to be people that are on stage. The people that I think are heroes to me are the people that get up on stage and it could be like a scientist, Einstein or Temple Grandin, uh, the highly functional autistic woman who has a PhD, who's an expert in animal behavior, as well as what it's like to be autistic, and, and but she's very high functioning, very gifted. And people like that, but also m musicians like Tom Petty, who widens my jetty. Another line from one of my poems, Tom Petty widens my jetty. Tori Amos doesn't blame us, but names us. This has been sung. Neil Young washes away the fertile dung. Goddess Kring, bada boo, bada bing, let it seep from deep within. So it's like there's all these poems and, and words that pop into my head and I write them down and now I'm realizing what it all means. I have North Node in Aries, which means I'm supposed to step into and have the courage to be self-centered, to be in a good way, to be selfish in a good way. See, in past lives I was more like Libra more like selfless, helping others behind the scenes, being the cooperative one, being the really diplomatic one, being the non-conflict one, being, which are good traits to have, but if you take it to an extreme, then you're passive and submissive and you don't really get to like empower yourself in a more individual way. So this, I'm supposed to step into. So whatever your south note is, is what you need to leave behind and appreciate and acknowledge the good and bad of, but leave it behind and step into and embody in this life, whatever's in your north node. So for me, that is Aries. And which is interesting because I don't have hardly any fire. That's a fire sign. I mostly have 
earth, air, and water, hardly any fire. I have Venus in Sagittarius, but no other fire aside from Aries in the North Node. So Aries in the North Node, and it says that there's a there's kind of like an insecure sense of self, like a lack of sense of self. And so part of my mission in this life is to develop more of a sense of self, which kind of makes me forgive myself for just, you know, I'm, I no longer am worried about being a narcissist. I'm thinking, cause I take like hundreds of pictures of myself because I'm trying to like figure out who I am and amplify it, you know, amplified chameleon is what I like to say. So I'm discovering all these new things about, I have like, basically I have a fresh perspective on my purpose in the life and it's like I'm kind of introverted a little shy but then again I feel compelled like I remember when I was three years old and growing up in San Diego California and I wanted there to be a sign on our car saying I'm Shannon Kringen I'm going to the zoo with my grandfather my favorite animals are seals and I like wanted to project a message to an audience which is why Tom Petty actually is one of my favorite people in the world because he's very his life story is fascinating. He's pretty much always followed his dream of being a musician. Even before he knew he wanted to be a musician, he just loved music. Like from the time he was a little kid and like 11 years old, he was really obsessed with music and listened to records for hours and hours and hours and wasn't interested in sports like the other kids and was just focused on music, 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 loved it. And then later he decided to get a guitar and like do his own music. First he did covers of other people's music and like Elvis and the Beatles and Roy Orbison and all that. Then he started doing his own music and he's like, he's had a vision and followed through on his whole, so I consider him a, a Tori Amos musician and Tom Petty. Those are my two heroic archetypal musicians that I admire them a lot. And I've met Tori Amos painted shoes for her, long story. Tom Petty I've never met, but I just really am, I sing along with Tom Petty music almost every day. It's sort of like my guru mantra, helps my alpha brain waves. I don't know, I just love that music, the music of Tom Petty. Old, new, all of it, it's great. So, especially his newer stuff actually is my favorite. Highway Companion, Mojo, Mud Crutch, Mud Crutch. So, <laughs> so yeah, so, I feel like I'm ready to step more into my power and have the courage because I have actually a lot of self-doubt and a lot of fear and a lot, but I do stuff anyway. Like I'm a nude model for a living. Um, I travel, I meet people, I stay with people I hardly know. Like I go on all these adventures and um, it says that about North Node and Aries people that they like to, they like to take adventures and they don't want to do like the regular life thing. Uh, I've never I've never been married, never had kids. I'm not sure if I'll ever get married. Who knows? Probably not. But uh don't want to have kids. So I just I just I want to travel and do my art and learn and grow and heal and spread an inspiring message. Um about creativity, about travel, about art, about being a free spirit, about being um authentic. Authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll. Which is what I was going to say is that I sometimes I'm passive aggressive because I'm like overly polite and nice, and then I and then I'm and then I'm pissed off and then I really want to express myself. And so I can see that the Libra Aries, the conflict between Libra and Aries. And so I get it now why I have a certain passive aggressive tendency, which I would like to not have. So I want to learn to be more honest with people. Authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow. So I want to step into that and be more honest about who I really am. I am a nice person. I'm sensitive. I'm an animal lover, a plant lover, but I'm also kind of self-centered. I'm kind of self-focused and I kind of want to be more of a leader and to basically to share my ideas and let people take it or leave it and not and not be you know I get upset when people criticize me and I'm tired of that I'm tired of letting it get me down and I'm also tired of being all codependent and tired of basing my own value on how others see me you see it's time for me to, to not do that it's time because I thought it was selfish to not pay attention to what others said about me. Now I realize I need to step into my own power and share what I can, share wisdom, talent, inspiration, whatever gifts I think I, I have to offer people. Share it 
and let it go and, and not worry so much about what you think of me or what anyone thinks about me. And even my own, if I judge myself, I'm just like, whatever, that's just a judgment that I have. And just keep following my heart and my instincts. So, hey, Stella, kitty, kitty. Oh, Stella, come here. Here's my kitty, Stella. Stella. Oh, I love you, Stella. Stella. Hi. Stella. Okay. Follow your bliss. Follow your dreams. Follow your heart. Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Everyone is unique. Uh, we're all in this together on this planet, you know, having life. But we are all unique. We are all very unique. And I've always kind of wanted to amplify that. I think that part of the job of an artist and a visionary thinker and maybe a leader is to indulge in amplifying what's unique about you and sharing it with other people. That's kind of what art is about, I think, is 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 creating something beautiful or unusual and, and amplifying it and putting it out into the world for an audience. So that's what I'm here to do. So I would I would suggest you find out what your north and south nodes are and see if that helps you figure out your, you know, get more clear on your life purpose if you want to do that. Or not, but that's what's helping me right now. I feel like a sense of forgiveness, a sense of compassion for myself and for like relationships I've had that were difficult. I now see kind of why I've had certain conflicts with people and certain um, fears and doubts and struggles and, sh and shame and guilt and fear. I totally get it. So I feel like I am more free to be the real me and 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 be even more adventurous, be even more brave. And if I'm afraid, use the fear as fuel to propel me to do things that I'm afraid to do. I might go to India. I went to the Bahamas recently and modeled and was body painted by someone and I might go to India and I have a friend in Russia, a friend in Norway, a friend in Scotland, a friend in England, a friend in Holland. I'd like to visit all these people. I'd like to go on a world tour. If I could do anything I wanted, I'd be like traveling around the world, making these videos, uh, writing books, um, sharing sharing my my art, my photography, and my travel adventures, and autobiographical monologues, and writing on my blog online, and share it with anyone who's interested, because I love to spread the kring, spread the kring, spread my own creative ideas around, and positive ideas, positive, inspiring, empowering ideas that help people be happier and healthier. Thanks for listening. My name is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring.